Hi there. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to a bit of my day where I turn on my camera and we see what we can get done in 30 minutes. And if we're lucky, we get two things glued down and a whole lot of chatter. Um, the Fairy Queen is almost done. I went ahead and did her spine, which was a wise thing to do. I sewed in her signatures, I should say. It was very wise to do it off camera because uh, my hat's off. What was it they used to say on, uh, oh, what show was that when they'd say, salute? Um, oh my goodness, it was a country and western Grand old Opry kind of show. Anyhow, um, my hat's off to to the uh, journal creators out there who work very comfortably on soft spines with th pamphlet three hole pamphlet stitch. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! The the uh, it, it was extremely challenging. Um, and you might think they, this looks a little different, Catherine, and it is a little different. I did three of them, so one, three, and five. Uh, I tied them in bows on the outside, and then for two and four, I left the long strings on the inside, and I thought I might put some some beads on those. And if the new owner doesn't like beads on them, if these are just getting in the way, um, then they can snip them off and put the beads somewhere else. But I'm very happy with how she's turning out. Oh, that's not, that's not there. <laughs> I was thinking about that it needs something. But um, so I laid that down to see what I would think of. Of lace there, but I don't like that. So um, there's quite a lot of lusciousness here. Let's go down a bit and admire the lusciousness, shall we? Ah, ooh, ah. Now there's extra lusciousness I, I did record yesterday and it just didn't work out, but, um, I'm, I found, oh, I need to work here. Okay. We'll do that today. Uh, because when I glued this on, I closed it too soon. I can't remember whether I explained it to you or not. But when I glued this on, I closed it too soon and I got glue on here. So now, now we have to cover this up. We will do, we will do that. I, um, I have decided that when I create journals with a soft spine and two hard covers, they really are better suited for um, scrapbook weighted type of paper, cardstock, maybe not quite cardstock, but certainly like, you know, scrapbook weight of paper. They're, they're better suited for that. So, um, so that made me think this book really does need a journaling board because some of these papers, like this is vintage children's composition paper, or it might be legal from a legal pad. It's from a legal pad, but it's vintage. You can see the yellow around the edge and uh, it's lovely. Maybe the lawyer went out of business. That's the rest of her dress. We need to find some words to put on it, but that's the rest of the fairy queen's dress. But anyhow, I decided yes to go ahead with a journaling board and made a journaling board. Let's come back out. And uh, so 
Uh, this journaling, the way a journaling board works is you need to leave one side very smooth and flat because that's the side that you will write and work on and you need a firm surface. And especially with like this paper here, you need a firm surface to write on that. And I was just this, not firm. But fortunately, there's so much room that, um, I apologize, my allergies are just, whoa, allergy season this year is hitting everyone I know like a punch in the face. <laughs> um, and I don't even usually get bothered that badly with allergies, but this year, whoa. Uh, anyhow, so, um, I decided to go ahead with uh, making a journaling board and I just did little bits and pieces of fabrics and laces and like this was from Amanda when she sent me uh, happy mail the other day or happy package the other day and um, the other week and lots of just little snippets out of my snippet um, boxes and bags and, and things. And of course, it's an old book. So I toyed with the idea of decorating this and then I've decided, no, I'm going to leave that for the new owner as well or the new owner may like it green. I, I actually don't mind it just green. It reminds me of the forest. And I like that it's a little bit bigger so it sticks out. I like that it just adds to that glorious laciness that is just water falling outside here. Now, I have a few things that I do want to do because there's still oodles and oodles of room in this book. So I had been saving uh, this page. I have a box of just pages from books. And I had been saving this page because I loved this book plate. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, but um, I, I knew I was going to do something with it. <laughs> and, and now I know. So it's going in the Fairy Queen because it looks like these are little little elves getting to work on a book and it looks like it belonged to F. Windus in Colburn, Ontario. Hmm. So I was able to ease it off. I thought about I thought about trying to soak it off but it scared me because I don't, because it's just the page, I don't have the book it came from. I don't know how old this is. And it made me a bit nervous to, um, to soak it off. So I just, I got out my, my thin little knife and I just sort of did round shapes underneath and did, just very carefully um, loosened it up like I sometimes do with stamps rather than soaking stamps off I'll do that and now it's it's good to go so we're going to glue this in and I want to put it on the back page I think it would look just so cute back here right there. Now I want to go find some lace. I feel like these edges need a little bit of lace. I'm going to go find some lace. Okay, I decided on this one. So let's just do this. I hope you're all doing well. I'm having a better day. I, uh, I saw one of my many doctors today and it went well she's one of my favorite ones she's very nice and very approachable uh, 
um, feel like you can open up to her, you know. And not because she's a woman. I've had some very nice male doctors over the years. Oh, I think someone's done. Well done. Sweetie Pie's home from work early today. He worked this weekend. So usually the guy who works the weekend is first off on Monday. So he's home. Yay. Um, but he's going to go mow the lawn. That's when you definitely know it's spring when uh, the lawns need mowing. So, and he's the kind of guy that he likes to, so, and I'm happy to let him. I've had many years of mowing lawns myself, and I didn't mind it. It's sort of the same as, as, uh, cutting hair. I worked in a barber shop for a few years and I really enjoyed working in a barber shop. So it feels, it's like a little mini lawnmower <laughs> going over the head. <laughs> there. Oh, 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 there's one I missed. You're still attached. There. Let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty. That's perfect. That's what I want. All right, now. So this I get sort of more bang for my buck because I'm using both sides of one ribbon. Anyhow, yeah, I've had lots of nice male doctors, so it's not, it's just, I have one doctor right now who's rubbing me the wrong way. I'll be glad when I don't need him anymore. He's sort of an in-between doctor. He's a gastro, and now that I need a liver doctor, um, I really don't need him anymore. Where's my, where's my paintbrush? So, but I do need them for one last thing and I'll be glad when I get that over with and then I can say goodbye to him. Good riddance to him. Ah. <sighs> He's one of those doctors. In the past two years, not voluntarily, I must say, I've lost about 50 pounds. And that's a good thing. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't the... Not that there's really a nice way. <laughs> but it was, you know, I, it was in discomfort and from things, so many things that I can't digest or eat and um, because of this illness and yet every single time I see him he'll put me on the scales and he'll say well you, still, you haven't lost any more weight I like you know what buddy take a hike either give me some help or or be quiet you know like I don't get that attitude with some people He's never once said, you need to lose more weight, because yes, it would be helpful. Can I give you some suggestions? He's never, never once said that. All he's ever done is sneer <laughs> and say, well, you haven't lost any more weight. No, no, you know what? No, I haven't. <laughs> Isn't it good I'm not starving to death, because this disease could make someone want to starve to death. <laughs> uh, anyone who's had a meal with me knows I look at things on menus and go, well, I can't eat that. No, can't eat that. Can't eat that. No, can't eat that. And it's, <laughs> it's so depressing. <laughs> fortunately, fortunately, I can laugh about it. It's one of those things, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. And, uh, 
because uh, I, you know what, I have a feeling he's at a loss as to what to do, perhaps, because it's a woman's disease for the most part. They say for every 100,000 people with it, 14 will be men. The rest will be women. So I have a suspicion the only people he's ever dealt with with this disease are women. So anyhow, I'm I'm belly aching. But and it was all because I was talking about how much I like my one doctor. And the other doctor is very nice too. So Fortunately, my liver doctor is very nice. So, uh, and that's the important one. He's the one that I'm going to be dealing with for the rest of my life. So, so that's nice. If I've got to have one over the other, that's the one I want to be nice. And my family doctor, I want to her to be nice. All right, let's put these cute little, I'm going to put them up here. There. Because I want to leave room. Down here for my little my little signature that I put down. Yeah, that looks nice, especially with the brown sort of suits with the woodland um, and papers and this little, this little fellow, this little elf. Now let's put the other one on while I'm thinking about it or I will forget. So we'll get that one done. Anyhow, all right, I promise that's the end of my belly aching. I shouldn't promise, should I? But I hope you are all doing well. I've always had the opinion that no matter how badly you think you've got it, there's always someone out there who's going through something harder. And not that that makes me feel better. It just reminds me, you know what? It's okay to complain for a little while, and then it's time to get on with getting on. And in my case, that's journals. Oh, I'm so hoping, I'm so, so, so hoping this weekend to go to my little book sale. It's been open for a month and it, I just haven't been feeling up to it. And I'm, this coming weekend, I want to go to my little book sale. That's what I want. So that's the plan, Stan. This is how can one be longer than the other? Oh, who knows? Sometimes when you freehand things, there, I think that. To me, that looks a little, a little more finished, but you can still see the sewing that is holding the cover to the fabric. This is also glued down. I was explaining to someone, I had a commenter, hi commenter, um, who asked how I attached the covers to the soft spine. And first I glued it down then I poked holes with an awl. Then I pushed, they, they make a little paper volcano. So I pushed those back down and then I used a needle and actually some needle nose pliers because the needle 
you had to give it a good tug and it's just easier with get out your get out your handyman tools your tim the tool man tailor tools and uh get that needle in and out and that's how i did these i have a feeling the glue probably would have been enough but that looks pretty and i think it adds to the um sort of handmadeness look of the book um i think of when i think of fairies i think of fairies the way i think of little birds when they're making their nests and they're collecting anything that they can find and weaving it in and out of their nests um, I imagine fairies perhaps even finding empty old birds' nests and making that into a little home for themselves, a cozy little home. And so I just imagine that when they find little pieces of lace or that, that maybe there was a little girl playing in the forest and when she was running through, she tore her dress and the fairy went, oh, look, you know, almost like... In Peter Pan, when the thimble is a kiss, you know. Um, anyhow, that there's there goes my mind when I'm making these books. My imagination just starts thinking about things. So, uh, I, what I want to do is, I want to put in just a few more pages. Let's get this out of the way, but I'm not going to get rid of it. It's got somebody, Windrus, Windus. I'm going to have to look up that name. And I've got the, I've got the area. Colburn. Windus and Colburn. Hmm. I'm going to have to. So I had to go look and I, I, found lots of windowses in the area, but they weren't spelled with two S. And this person definitely spelled it two times with two S's at the end. F windows. And it's definitely a U, because that's a U. That one could almost look like an O. Oh well. I tried. I tried to find you. <sighs> so, now that I've been off on that tangent, um, I don't remember what I was... Oh, um, I just feel like I could add more papers. But I'm going to need heavy paper. I'm going to need heavy paper because I'm just fine. Like I said, I'll know better next time because I'm still determined. Sorry, I'm banging things around here. I am still determined to work harder on these books and get better at it because I love the look of them. So I'm going to... I'm going to add in some pages sort of in a the, the way that you would add a plate to a book. And this is a handy thing to know. So if you've made yourself a journal and it it could handle some more pages and um, Go. but you've already sewn in the signatures so there's you don't and you don't want to have to reopen them there's no way I'm opening those signatures that three hole pamphlet stitch whoa I'm gonna have to find another way now I need to remember her name who inspired me to do this I'll find it 
she sews hers in by sewing machine and maybe I should follow her example and uh, and use a sewing machine all right so what that does is well I'm going to show you what that does So we've got a few here. I know I definitely got room there. This is heavier paper. Don't you love that, that deckled edge? Mm. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay, let's, let's get this out of the way. Now I have plans for this green one. I may want to bend that the other way, so I've got to find their home first. And I think the home will be on in this case on a pink one I'm going to do it on the back here so in this case it'll go that way I want it to look like it's been sewn in even though it hasn't but I want a torn edge and then of course haha uh, we're gonna get out the ink now what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer it a little bit. So I'm going to take a little bit more off the first page. Like that. All right, let's move you out of the way so I don't start inking things that I don't want inked. And I think I'm going to go with, I'm not going to do green. I'm going to go with espresso. So it looks kind of like dirt, the woods. So I'm going to pause and finish inking. Okay, so I have inked it. Now here's what I'm going to do. On the pink page, so that I can still use this page, I am going to uh, sew along here so it looks from this side, it looks like I've sewn it into the book, but on the other hand, it won't have ruined this side. We still have a nice blank page for the new owner to go to town with. Now, I'm not going to change thread colors now because I've been using this gold colored thread through the whole book and I'm not about to change thread colors right now. So I'm gonna go over to my machine and sew and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's um, pull these threads through and tie them off. I did a tiny little Shinuki knot named after Shinuki Arts. I get, uh, Shanna. I should call her by her name. I always, I just call her Shinuki. <laughs> it's cute. My phone seems to be acting up and I won't find out until I until it's time to piece all these pieces together. So if there seems to be some confusion, I don't know what's been cut off and what hasn't been cut off. Anyhow, I was talking about Shanna from Shinuki Arts and part of me hopes that that is her nickname and that it's an affectionate name 
from her family. I had a sister-in-law. Um, her given name was Mary, but she uh, was Hungarian, and her family called her Marika. And I just thought, what a beautiful name. And she went by Marika, so when people would ask, you know, when she'd introduce herself, she'd, hello there, I'm Marika. Um, even though her birth certificate said Mary, um, she was Marika. And I don't blame her one little bit. I think Marika is uh, beautiful. So, um, we're going to put that down there. I'm going to use our glitter glue because we're doing paper to paper, even though there's some thread, not a lot of thread. Oh, I'm going to push those little... And push those little bumps down. Boy, I hope my phone's working. I can't tell. Boy, I got a little knot on the other side, too. Hmm. All right. Let's see if I need to... No, I don't. All right. I wondered whether I needed to... Sometimes in the morning... This bottle wants the long needle to really clear it out. There we go. All right. So here we go. And uh, I'm just going to center it as best I can. Put it close to those. There's some washi tape down here. So I'm going to put it close to the washi tape because then the greens look pretty beside each other and the pinks and purples look pretty. And then that layering looks nice. All right, so I think the decision has been made that the green ones will go on the pink pages somewhere. And the off-white ones are going to go on the green pages and that gives one two three four extra pages into this book with very little extra bulk but at, oh I'm right off camera oh Catherine put your thinking hat on girl <sighs> so that gives the four extra pages and they're nice sturdy pages and uh, it gives extra to look at. I was really tempted, mm, really tempted to uh, pull out some stamps and start doing some stamping. And then I thought, no, leave it alone. This was, this, this glorious bursting of leaves and lace was supposed to be a naked journal. And she's hardly naked now. She's like a Victoria's Secret a fairyland Victoria's Secret now. <laughs> so I'm going to work on these others and uh, and then I will show you what I got done what I've what I've got done um, at the end. So hold on and let me get to work. Okay, so I did uh, this one on the green page and I did um, coffee around the edges and I just did a straight sewing but again um, I didn't want to sew through a cute little friend there so um, that one just looks like that but again we've added four more journaling pages into this uh, sweet little book so I'm going to just keep on working on this and add in these uh, extra pages and I'm going to leave them so that there'll be a surprise when we do the uh, flip through eventually. It'll be sometime this week at, uh, and, and get uh, some of these, some of these journals, they're piling up get some of them into my shop so that they can go to their new homes. 
So thanks for joining me today. I hope you found uh, this interesting, this uh, simple way to add in more pages when you find that you've got a book that could, um, that has room for more pages, but you've finished sewing in the signatures, you can still add pages by doing it this way. Um, I guess if you've got the right kind of sewing machine, you could sew through my sewing machine. It's old. It's it's pre-1990. I know that for, for certain, um, but I don't know the exact year. Um, so this is just a handy way of doing it, but still give it that, that little, um, the feeling of that it's been sewn in and, and, you know, that's the thread that we all like to look at and, and the mess and the gold thread matches. There's a little flex of gold in the fabric that was used to make the soft spine. So, so the rest will be a surprise for you uh, when, when I eventually <laughs> do a flip through of our little fairy queen. If you hear some rumbling and roaring, it's not because I live near an airport, although I sort of do. There's one, two towns over, a small airport. <laughs> um, Sweetie Pie is mowing the backyard. So that's a good reason for me to uh, say goodbye and uh, hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll get together soon. Take care. Bye.